Where do we go from here? Tell me, tell me Where do we go from here? Show me, show me I am absolutely Bye. going crazy right now. Are you going crazy? Bye. Bye. She's trying to say goodbye. I don't know why. I'm saying hi. I'm saying hello. She really wants to go outside. I really want to go outside. We're getting cabin fever. But I've literally been waiting in for hours for the food shopping to come. Um, I think there's some problem on the system. Yeah, so I'm on hold at the moment and I'm just gonna see what's happening. No, 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 no. She's like, is literally trying to disassemble the whole living room, aren't you? Because you're getting so fed up. It's such a nice day outside as well, guys. This always happens, doesn't it? We'll go and then when we decide to go, we'll turn up straight away. It's just the way it works. So we've made it. We are here in London, but there was a guy sneezing next to us all the way on the train. So you know what that calls for? Ginger shot power. I do feel a little bit funny about the girls and Darren leaving me today. I don't know why, I feel a little bit, just a little bit nervous in case he decides to come out today. And then also to top it off, my midwife said yesterday to me when I had my checkup, she said tomorrow I'm gonna to be traveling quite far away. So I'm gonna be leaving the area. And if you suspect that you're gonna go into labor, no matter how small or, you know, how tiny and significant it seems, let me know so I can start making my way back. So <laughs> two of the most important people, Darren, who's my birthing partner and my midwife, they are leaving today. I'm just gonna have to sit there cross-legged in case he decides to come out. So obviously the other week I had my mucus plug show, which is one of the first signs of labor. Sometimes for um, first time mothers, it can come away like one to two weeks before the birth. But for if you've had one or more babies, this is obviously my fourth baby, guys. It can mean that labor could come anytime now. And I do actually feel like he's gonna come early. I've had the suspicion and I've been saying it to Darren for ages. I don't think he's gonna be overdue. I think he's gonna come early or on time. I'm classed as full term now. So it means he could come any minute. He could come right now. He could come tonight. He could come today. He could come tomorrow. Who knows, guys? So I'm gonna be here with little Karma and little Koa. And Karma, I don't know if you know this about her, but she is such a character. She is wild. And at the moment, she loves running away and hiding from me, which sometimes can be very tiring when I've got this massive weight in my stomach and I have to run around trying to catch her. So she's literally just gone and done it right now. Karma, where are you? There you are, you little cheeky. Karma, where is your nose? Where's your nose? Ma. Good girl. Where is your ears? Eh. Where's your tongue? Oh, you're a clever girl, aren't you? What should we do today? Have you got any ideas? Because you're the boss. Eh. That sounds fun, okay? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. She could mean the I360, which goes up on that big, huge, like, pole. It's up high in the sky, and if you're scared of heights like me and heavily pregnant, it's probably the least ideal thing to do today. But, um, I don't know, come. I think we're gonna have to do something else. We've got a few meetings and some other stuff to do here in London today, but I hope that Mum and Karma, Georgie and Karma, <laughs> are getting on okay yeah, at home. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous for Mum because I know Karma is definitely a handful and, like, sometimes she'll like run away and try to sneak off and hide and do stuff so I'm hoping mom can like um because mom's she always gets us to get grab our things and get caught oh yeah because she runs away so fast but obviously because mom's pregnant she goes so slow yeah so for our meetings here today naturally I've brought my chief abundance officer <laughs> aka Sienna and I've also brought my chief brand strategist aka Mia <laughs> right let's go to the first meeting yeah uh, I'll need to check with my chief abundance officer Sienna what do you think um it's okay 
But we're on a mission to change the world here. 10x the fee and you've got a deal. Right, I'm going to call that a good success. You enjoyed that, girls? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's on to fine. the next meeting then. Let's go. I'll just need to check with my chief brand strategist. Mia, what do you think? I like it, but I don't really love it at the same time. I'm just kind of thinking like we've got an entire community to inspire and uplift and I feel like we need to do something more. How about we offer free hugs for everyone? Oh, we're going to have some really exciting things to share with you guys soon. It's kind of under wraps for the time being. But we're now going to be on to our next thing, which is something we can share with you. So we're now going to be going to the Lego House of Dots. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> What's that, Karma? What's happening outside? Oh, it's going to be cold. It's hailing outside. Go. I really wanted you to see that, though. Go. Yeah, I'm now gonna close the door. A little update of how our day is going. So basically, we are still waiting in for the food delivery. I don't know what's going on. I called them up a couple of hours ago and they said it would be like one hour and we're still like waiting, but it doesn't matter. We're having a really nice time, aren't we, Karma? So we're here at the Lego House of Dots. This segment of the video has been sponsored by Lego. We're now about to go into this giant thing behind us. Wow, The I'm House excited. of Dots. Let's and go, lead the way, girls. Ooh, I think it's gonna be really nice. Hello, welcome. Hello, House of Dots. Thank you. Very welcome. Welcome to the House of Dogs. I'm Kiara. I'm one of the Lego designers that was part of the team designing the Dots product and also working on the house uh, with Kami Walala. So feel free to roam around. You can touch, you can sit. And over there you can see the different products from the home decor line uh, that Lena mentioned and Amy earlier today. Uh, so if you have any questions, please do ask. Uh, I'll let you go around and then I'll introduce you to the next room and we'll have a little activity with hands on, so be ready. <laughs> this time, let's see what's in our bags. Wow! Oh, it's a pineapple! I love pineapple. <laughs> and you can keep like this head. It's a pencil holder, that is so cool. And you can obviously decorate it however you want, so then it can look however you like it to look, and that it can match with the stuff on your desk. That's amazing. Should we see what else is? Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few more things. Yeah. Ah, oh, so this is a container so you can keep your dots in here so they don't get lost. Ooh. I think there's something else here, you know. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That's okay. okay cool. Which you can obviously personalize. That's cool. Yeah, you can like put your own little bits in. Put your own dots on it to decorate yeah. it however you like. Wow, look guys, the whole house is made of dots. There's like so many. There's all patterns of different colors. So look over here at the mirror. The frame is made out of all different colored dots. It's so cool. Yeah, you can make your own like patterns and things. Yeah. And we will be decorating some bracelets. So there's enough bracelets for everyone. And so you can try and create your own pattern, whatever feels right. I'm making like a pattern of pink. Mm -hmm. Blue, pink, and then maybe we're all gonna add some other colors in. It is a bracelet made out of dots. Look, I finished mine. What I love about it is that the dots are all different shapes and obviously different colors as well. So I made a nice pattern. Yeah, that's still doing. Hard, yeah, so. I got a little bit more. And what I did is I done a little circle like around the middle area. Yeah. I thought that was quite cool. Yeah, so you can put like the dots together to make like one big dot. <laughs> Look at my finished bracelet. I've made it like a blue and pink pattern. Mine's purple, yellow, and blue as well. I like how it's all pastel colors. It looks so pretty. Yeah. And it matches your outfit. Yeah, it literally <laughs> matches my outfit. <laughs> We're going upstairs. The you can go in here. Yeah. 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 Should we go in? Our little spy den, isn't it? We can yeah. sit in here and watch everyone. <laughs> really cool about it is look it's a little stand and then you can stick it on but I only just worked this out but I think you can use dots with standard Lego because look these are normal Lego pieces and obviously it's like quite thick it's not just the dots which is so cool isn't it? Yeah so you can use your dots to decorate it in any kind of pattern you want. We're going to create a tile, so I'm going to choose a base. I'm going to go for lilac since that's my favourite colour. I'm going to go for black. I because it's your favourite colour. One off. <laughs> what are your favourite colours? I reckon I'm going to do maybe like a love heart and Ooh, some little patterns yeah. around it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some dots to draw inspiration from dots. Sorry, that's what I'm going to do. Right, this fam, look. 
book and my mosaic. I have all finished. Sienna, have you finished? I have. She's adding her finishing yes. touches. Last one. Sienna, have you spotted what I've spotted? Yes. Look. Should we do it? Yeah. <laughs> signature patterns and stuff like this is all of her art so it's really cool right girls the What's next room the, the next room is a What's disco that? room yeah. disco yeah. room <laughs> Girls, for the final part of the Lego yeah. House of Got tour, walk out to the slide. Oh no, is, are walk we gonna out. fall into a slime pit? Sienna, <laughs> Sienna. Oh. <laughs> I think it's just really windy. Sienna just like flew in the wind like a leaf. Oh, that was seriously good fun. We're really excited for the launch of Lego Dots. It's actually going to be released in March. So wow. keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to start making our way home and see if mum and Karma oh, are okay. okay. I missed them already. I know, one day is I like know. long enough, isn't it? Yeah. Karma, your big sissies have got a message for you. Look, ready? Is that your sissies? Yeah. Oh, do you love them? They're probably going to be hungry. Uh. Should we make them some dinner? Yeah? Yeah, okay. You know where the kitchen is, don't you? Mum sent me a video message, girls. I'll play yeah. it. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Oh. Hi, Mia and Sienna. Oh. Say hello. Yeah. Hi, Sienna. Hi, Sienna. Oh. We really miss you guys. Uh, we can't wait to see you when you get back. Hope the train's not too busy. A minute ago, I went to check her nappy because she's done like four poos. I'm like, smell another one again. And then I looked and there's no poo there, was there? So I went, yes. And then she started copying me. It was so funny. She said, yeah. She feels too shy, but she was really getting into it. She's going, yes. It was well funny, wasn't it, Karma? <laughs> Karma wants to go now. Anyway, guys, see you soon. Love you all. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. 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 Yeah. yeah. She has missed you. Oh, my hi, hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh. I feel like we haven't been separated for ages since we've been yeah. in the UK. So it's like really traumatizing. No, we, it's actually been really nice, actually. We've had a really <laughs> short time. And guess what? The food delivery is finally here now. Karma. What sound does a dog make? Oh, oh, oh. Woof, woof, woof. What sound does a sheep make? Ah. Bah. What sound does a crocodile make? <laughs> what sound does a little bray make? Yeah, she normally does it really well. Go on then, give her a little kiss, show Baby. some love. Oh, good girl. What we've been doing today, so we've been waiting for that ominous food delivery. AKA guys, by the way, it's my ice cream delivery. Oh, really? Yeah, it's my ice cream delivery. <laughs> I've been watching, learning about Cold War exposure and stuff with Karma, I've just been sitting here. Because initially I was sitting on the couch and I was like, I need to get him in the right position because the midwife felt him again. And she said, although he can move around and go in the right position right before birth, she said, like, be wary. He is slightly back to back, which is, like, super painful um, when you're going to labour if the baby's got a twist around. If the baby's in the right position, it means your birth is going to go a lot more smoothly and more quickly, and it's going to be a lot less painful. So I'm going to thank my future self for it later. Sorry, I just elbowed you. Right. So I've just been sitting like this. We've had the TV on and it's been really, really relaxing. That's what I've been doing, guys. Just sitting here like this all day. And also, guys, if you notice this like strange thing in the background, this is a sage stick. Uh -huh. We have we done before in a video. We have done it before, and these aren't just something which is like really far out and has no like scientific meaning behind it. Well, these are actually been used by ancient cultures for a long time, haven't Thousands they? Thousands of years. Yeah. But there is actually some science behind it now, and scientists have said. 
that when you burn these sticks, and that's also known as smudging, you put the smoke around the room, it actually kills the bacteria in the air. And it can bad also, bacteria. Bad yeah. bacteria. And then it also can help produce, it can get rid of the negative ions. No, the positive ions. Positive ions aren't good for you. Negative <laughs> ions are good for you. Yeah, so, it's tough. so we're going to do well. I said to Mia, because she's really getting into crystals, I said, would you mind going around and smudging the house soon before the baby's born? And then we can like clear and purify the air and put some good energy in here yeah. before he's born. So if any of you were wondering what that was in the background, this is a sage stick. And it smells really nice as well. Smell basically your whole house will smell like a roast dinner for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Before we have dinner, girls, before we have yeah. dinner, yeah. I've got a little parcel for you that came today. The postman delivered it. What's this? Oh, Times Tables. Yeah. This looks cool. It's a little Times Tables book. I think this might be from... Nanny and Granddad. Yeah, and I think yeah. Nanny knows you're, you've been learning yeah. your maths, haven't you? Yeah, I really like that. Age 7 to 11. Nice. Oh, I wonder what is this? What this is? Oh, wow! I know what this is. Me and Nanny were knitting a scarf together and she has finished it. Wow! It was Aww. for my um little dog. Oh, well done, Nanny. Storm. She finished wow. it. Thank you. I love this. This looks so beautiful. Aww. I love the little, like, frilly bits on the end. That's so nice. So is that for Storm? To keep yeah, him warm? Yeah, it's for Storm, yeah. He's not used to this cold weather, is he? <laughs> no. And then you're going to be getting on with your yeah. times tables then. Times tables, cool.